I just want to circle back to the lover boy method. Can you talk about how he uses his lover boy method? And he really, a lot of his supporters will say, oh, it's not illegal. Why is it? What is the method and why is it illegal? Sure. So there's a, there's a number of things. First, there's the recruitment under false pretenses, which is where the trouble starts. So, and there's extensive evidence of this being the fact, one in his own training videos that we spoke about, um, also in a bunch of text message exchanges that have been pulled directly from their phone. Um, it's very clear that he spends significant amount of time uh, forming a false relationship with these women with and this is where it gets in trouble because that's what a lot of his fans say like oh being nice to girls and maybe lying to them isn't illegal i'm like no but he's doing this to get them in into uh yeah in, into sex work um into into only only fans um that's where the problem is because he's misleading them he's transporting them often they're saying i'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy you a plane ticket um, to come to Romania and be my girlfriend or be my wife even. He talks about marriage with them. Um, and this is often very vulnerable girls and very uh, from very, very uh, underprivileged, poor backgrounds. Uh, I know of one or two that I believe are autistic. So he targets vulnerable girls and gets them into this situation. And then he flies them to Romania. Now, what once they get there, a, a number of these stories we've seen is that they've come – to be fly, fly to Romania to be with Andrew or Tristan, whichever one of them, they get there and these guys are nowhere to be found and they're greeted by these girls and they're saying, oh, the, the guys are out working, come come into this house, which is full of the, the OnlyFans girls. Um, there's armed guards there. There's there's 24-7 surveillance there. Um, eventually, they're, they're just told they're not allowed to, they're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to leave without me. There's text message um, interaction with one of the girls that's in in the evidence of Andrew saying you're not you're not to leave the house again and she's like why are you so cold to me and he's like last warning you are not to leave the house very aggressively um there's threats of violence so there's um which they often use the girl the main girls the quote-unquote bottom bitches to do so there's evidence of um uh, particularly Tristan so he has a charge of inciting um inciting violence i believe the charge is called because he got one he ordered his main girl he said if this girl's not going to work on only fans and produce content you must uh beat her up hit her and she did so there's evidence of this um so so there's, so there's yeah so there's this idea of um one there's this idea of their followers of one it's not illegal to be nice to a girl and lie to them but that's not that's not all this is um and also it's like oh, it's not illegal to manage girls on lonely fans but that so this is just a small snippet of just what's involved and how dark this is which is where well, it's just it's, it's sex trafficking it's human trafficking exactly and once you have armed guards there saying you can't leave you know and you're restricting their freedom it, it's it, that you're getting into um you're getting into a, almost a kidnapping situation there where you're restricting their their freedom, um, are there kid? There are kid. Are there yeah. kidnapping charges? No, right? Surprise. No, not not necessarily. Um, so, but I guess it's 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 not dissimilar in a way with the the kind of trafficking they were talking here. Like there's instances of um, girls' passports being taken. Um, they there's there's these guys discussing so this is keep in mind this isn't just what andrew and tristan tate do this is what they teach other men to do and then there's men that they're they have taught their methods that are also being arrested and um charged with human trafficking this is a network of guys that do this this is a lot so as much as there's a lot of funny stuff about these guys with how ridiculous they are there's there's some dark stuff this is a network of guys that um these guys have taught his methods he's got a training like i said he's got a training module on how to traffic women into sex into online sex work via the lover boy method um very dangerous i mean uh, a lot is made of andrew tate yeah, and because yeah sorry because he, 
uh, because he's the sort of louder of the brothers. He's the more flamboyant of the brothers. He tends to be one, the brother that's more out in the limelight. But I was talking to a girlfriend of mine, and she really believes that Tristan Tate is is actually the more the darker uh, and more psychopathic of the two. Do you have a view on either one? Are they both as bad as as another? I mean, they're both pretty horrible. But I mean, do you have a view on that? Do you think that Tristan is sort of the quieter, more dangerous and violent of the two? Or do you think they're both about equal? Or Look, I've, I've um, and I know other people that have too, that have spoken to people um, that have kind of had firsthand experience that have confirmed very much this, that that behind the scenes, because on camera Tristan is maybe, the, he at least tries to present himself as the smoother, classier, <laughs> quote-unquote, Tate brother. Um, but, uh, but we've heard behind the scenes that he he is a lot more how would i put it he's a lot more of a violent temper um is what i've heard of people that have been around them both um, and i know other people have heard this too so yeah so that yeah my girlfriend's insightful 